acrylic boring is such a waste. Hello everyone, welcome to Me Paintings. Acrylic pouring is such a waste. I hear this sentence quite often from people who don't know much about fluid art and I get it. It might look like that, but it doesn't have to be like that. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create an amazing 3D looking piece just from leftover paints. And I recently joined Patreon on which I share most of my painting tutorials. But I know there are some people who are not able to join, so from time to time I would also like to share something here to inspire you and give you courage to create. So let's dive straight into a leftover tutorial. Every time I make a fluid art project I've got some leftovers and I never chuck them away. I always scrape them and put them in some kind of plastic bottle or glass bottle and then I can reuse them for this kind of project. This is grey and sometimes you've got this liquid in, you just shake it and get rid of the liquid. It all mixed together and here you go. So let's pour them all in my cups just to see if the fluidity of the paint is all right. Yes, this is perfect. So the gray will be the main color in my leftover pouring project. So here you can see all the colors, which I'll be using shades of gray, some greenish gray, blue, and I also mixed some thalo blue and white to add contrast into my leftover colors. So I'm gonna pour them all in one cup and then do a simple flip cup. Let's start with Thalo Blue and I'm going to keep a little bit for later on. So Thalo Blue on the bottom and then some shades of grey and green and blue. And last one, the dark blue paint. And here's my canvas, which is size 40 by 40 centimeters. And I'm just simply gonna do a flip cup. So I will flip it like this. And pour some gray around. Let's see. Some beautiful contrast in there, tilted everywhere. And you can still use the leftovers which you'll have on your table. Don't chuck them away. Put them back in those leftover bottles some lumps here and there i don't want the lumps so here's my little torch which i bought in local shop it was three euros so it wasn't expensive and this helps me to create tiny little cells in my paint let's show you a bigger detail Beautiful. Can you see them growing? This will look amazing on my stone pattern. See, even though the paint was quite old, I had it for a few months in that bottle. It's still working pretty well. I know for some of you it might not look that interesting right now, but I promise I will turn this into an amazing 3D looking piece. So let's get it dry for four or five days and then I show you what to do next. Here's a little detail. Those cells and patterns are amazing for my stone. Like this one, this one already sh created a shape of a stone. Can't wait for this to get dry. 
so the paint is dry and for some people this might look extremely boring you might think i'm not gonna turn this into success but i promise with few simple steps i'm gonna turn this into amazing 3d stone looking pour so even with the most boring piece you can always be successful i'm gonna start with this liner you could also use pencil or whiteboard marker or whatever you find at home and i'm gonna start by drawing shapes of stones some of them will be on the top some of them will be underneath and i will also draw a border here and for that i will use masking tape but let's start with the top ones i'm gonna choose parts which looks most beautiful so just like this looks like a stone shape so i'm gonna draw shape of a stone like this and i'm gonna draw many more some big ones as well like this part looks beautiful some of them will be underneath so Now I'm going to use masking tape so I can see where to put my borders and some of the stones will be overlapping the border so I'm just going to draw lines to see where my border will be. That's nice. Now I can see that this stone will be on the top, this stone as well. These will be hiding down. So let's do all four corners. And I'm going to use gray paint for the borders. I might change it later on. I will see how it looks all together when my stones are done. Now it's time to start working on my stones and I'm gonna start with black acrylic paint and I will be using this flat brush size 9. I always put my brush in water, tap it on a tissue and then put a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and I will go around the whole stone shape like this. Firstly, the top part. Then I put my brush back in the water, tap it on a tissue and I just try to blend it nicely. So it creates that 3D effect on my stone. You have to do this quite quickly, otherwise the paint gets dry and you won't be able to blend it. So this is quite a fast process of blending the paint. I'm gonna paint the top ones first and then I start working on the ones which are hiding underneath.
Now I'm going to start working on the stones which are hidden underneath and it's the same technique. I just put black paint around the stone and blend it nicely. And the darkest parts will be really almost black to create the depth in my painting. And later on, I start working on the shadows around my stones, but I'm not going to do that right now. Firstly, I'm going to just paint all the stones and then I do more shadows. So I'm just going to do it in the same way. I put my brush in water, put a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and just create a shadow here. Now you can see I put too much water in there. But you get the idea of the shadows like this. And I will also paint shadows here underneath my stones. And the light source is coming from this way. That's why I'm painting shadows underneath. Later on, I will paint highlights on the top of my stones. But now I'm doing the shadows. The stones already look nice, but I want to paint some highlights. And for that, I'm gonna use this wet wipe and white acrylic paint. I'm gonna dip my wipe in paint, tap it like this, don't put too much paint on it. And then I'm gonna follow the shape of my stone and paint these highlights. Like this. So the stone started to look like it's kind of shiny and if you want you can just wipe uh, blend it a little bit like this this part is too sharp so i'm gonna blend it and here you go there's a highlight on your stone you could also do a little highlight here down go like this you could also do this with brush but i find this much more faster and less complicated. And here you go. Here's your stone with slight shine. So I'm going to do it on a few of these stones. I might use some bigger highlights for the top stones. I will show you that later on. But now I'm going to work on these little highlights.
This is how it looked without the highlights. And this is how it looks now. I think it's better like this, but of course it's up to you. You can do it however you want. Now I'm gonna just make a very thin highlights. I'm not gonna blend it this time. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is to make the highlights more visible. And this is the result of my 3D stone acrylic pour. And as you can see, even though it was created completely out of waste paint, you can still create beautiful, amazing looking pieces. So I hope this tutorial was inspirational for you. And I also hope it gave you courage to continue in your fluid art projects. There is always hope, even though everything looks like it's lost, it's not you can always turn it into a beautiful masterpiece. Thank you very much for watching. And as I said at the beginning, I recently joined Patreon on which I share most of my new painting tutorials. So you can find loads of inspiration there as well. Thank you for watching and I wish you loads of success with your art projects. Bye.